all right getting back on this video for this ferrari so you've seen before it failed the vacuum test and it failed the pressure test with dry nitrogen easily failed but what i suspected the way it failed and after going over a leak test with it the front shaft seal on the compressor this was sitting with zero refrigerant for a long time couldn't hold vacuum couldn't hold pressure but neither leak were big enough to pick up with leak detector with um, nitrogen pressure or any other method or uv dye so after suspecting the seal what i did anyway was I put a pound and a half of refrigerant in it, of course with the UV dye. I ran it for a few minutes, recovered it. Now what this will do sometimes is it will lubricate the front shaft seal and it'll put pressure on the back of the shaft seal and push it forward and the shaft seal will actually clamp down on the spindle coming out, the shaft going to the clutch. This will heat up the seal, it'll put pressure, it'll put fresh lubricant on the seal and it might hold that position when you recover the refrigerant back out. So I recovered the refrigerant out of the compressor, out of the system, and I put it under a vacuum. I put it under a deep vacuum. I went to lunch and I went to another job and then came back here. Uh, microns, it was only down to 1200 microns, but it isn't that great. Now, whether that was due to a small leak, and it was actually really, really slowly creeping up in the microns, only in the single digits, really slow. Uh, you know, you'd never measure that on an analog set of gauges. And so I said, you know, I'm going to try this under pressure. Put pressure, pass this pressure, fill it up, and we have a good running system. There's not, other than me hooking my gauges up backwards, my high is on the low, my low is on the high. Hey, stuff happens. But with digital gauges, you don't have to worry. You're not going to break your low side gauge. Um, yeah, that's about it. So this Ferrari is good to go. Um, they're going to run it, we're going to look for some leaks later on, the customer's going to drive it around and then we'll further leak check. I told them to keep their eye out if they see any leaks. Sometimes something could just open up and just let out a lot of refrigerant and oil, sometimes not. And uh, we're good to go on this one, but that's one of the little secrets when you think this is our front shaft seal, it does work sometimes. Fill it up, run it for a few minutes, recover the refrigerant, put it under a vacuum, hold the vacuum, keep vacuuming it, and then fill it up like normal, and then retest it for leaks. And that's it on this Ferrari. Throw this thing in your little Toyota. See you guys on the next uh, video. Ferrari out.